Good day everyone. Today brings us to Hokio Beach near Levin. Uh, having just finished a wee family shoot up the road, um, heading back home and I thought I'd stop in at this beach for the sand dunes. Um, I happened to bring all my lenses and all the cameras, um, but I thought, yeah, why not take a zoom lens out for a wee, I guess, test run for landscapes. Um, so I've just got the 70 to 200 and yeah, no real aim. We might just end it with, with little patterns. Um, but yeah, come and have a look around Hokio Beach with me. So a few weeks back um, I tried a sort of night photography down at Pukera Bay. Um, I'll show you a little bit of the clip here. Uh, you'll see that it didn't really work out because I didn't have enough light to shine, I guess on me or the tripod, uh, but I did get some nice photos. So I'll show you those now before we do this trip. Alright, I'm down at the beach now and I'm going to follow the walk track along to uh, this rock uh, and I'll, yeah, I'll catch you there. Uh, the Milky Way is right over top. Uh, my initial plan was to, yeah, kind of have Kapiti or Parapara Umu so the township lights in the background. Uh, so we'll try that next. I suspect it might not go that well. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the shots that I have got so far though. It has certainly made the trip worthwhile. Yeah, so I'll give this next bit a go. That's me done for this evening. It's a very quick video. Uh, and I guess that's just because of the GoPro's limitations and I didn't bring enough lighting to, you know, light me up like Hollywood would. Uh, hopefully you enjoy some of the photos I've taken. Most of them have been using a bit of light painting. Uh, I didn't quite get the shot that I had in my mind, but actually I think I got something a bit better. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy with what I think I've got. Albeit it might be a bit grainy and bit of, yeah, noise reduction might be needed, but we will see. Alrighty, so we'll catch you in the next video. See you guys later. Night night. Alright, so we've just moved down the beach a little. Um, I'm going to head up one of the sand dunes and yeah, look across the beach towards Kapiti. There's a few people on the beach. Hopefully they shift by the time I get up to the sand dune. And if not, uh, then we can edit them out. I guess my preference is not to have them in the photo. Uh, but who knows, they might just add to it. Alright, let's go. So most of you who do photography stuff probably already know uh, that you tend to go a little bit off the beaten track to get to points that you want to kind of survey and have a look from. Ah, seems to be the story of my life. But it usually, yeah, usually it's worth getting to. Mm.
Okay, so a few people have come down to the beach to enjoy the sand dunes. Um, just happens to be that they are on their motorbikes and they've parked their utes kind of in the scene that I wanted to photograph, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but good on them for enjoying the sun. So I'll wrap things up there and we'll catch you all in the next video. Yeah, if you hang around, I'll show you some of the photos. Uh, one of being a bicycle between the sand dunes. Yeah, not really what I was after, but hope you enjoy and we may catch you in the next one. Alrighty, see you guys. <laughs>